Most of YouTube today want to talk about how I think about gaming. Is it a waste of time, a hobby or profession? And a lot of you out there, and myself included, have probably heard your mom say this at least once in your life. Stop playing games and go outside. You may have heard that recently Booga, a 16 year old Fortnite gamer, has won $3 million winning the Fortnite World Cup. Is his mom gonna say, go play outside? I don't think so. Now to start this video off, I'm gonna talk about whether I think gaming is a waste of time. And I've been thinking about that quite a bit throughout my life. I do think it's more engaging and interactive by nature than say watching a movie, a TV show, or even reading a book. If you're watching TV or reading a book, you're just sitting there consuming. You don't have any input while a video game is reactive. You have to be more aware of what's happening. It's less lean back, more lean forward, more engaging. And in that way, I think you can actually learn some motoric skills and eye coordination, tactic, logical thinking, intelligence by playing video games. So I don't think it's a complete waste of time. But then again, TV or more specifically books can also be a great way to learn new skills just in a different way and a different set of skills probably so i wouldn't say it's a complete waste of time there's also a social component which is not really there when reading books or watching tv unless you have like a book club or something like that but in playing multiplayer online games you actually have to coordinate with a bunch of other people if you're playing in a team and you can also communicate with your friends and say meet up play a game and have voice chat on and actually spend time with your friends and get to know new people online which can actually lead to very deep friendships which will develop over time if you're spending a lot of time in these video games obviously one thing i particularly enjoyed about video games was hype culture so whenever a new game came out there would also be a huge community around it that would be very active at that point of release which is very exciting for me and then there's kind of a social component too and like when pokemon go released and everyone was out on the streets the big fortnite hype was on you just have everyone talking about it here and there in real life. And that's just so exciting to me that I always jump on new games when they're really hyped and I really, really enjoy that period. Now that being said, I think there's still a huge amount of stigma related to video games and it's seen as nerdy and uncool for some people to play video games and that can have quite an impact on society and me myself as well. So I remember at one point when I was um about to get my first job i sold my playstation because i thought i would be spending too much time on it i'm never gonna amount to something real or have enough time to actually be different from other people if i keep playing video games and i ended up buying the playstation back about a year later because i felt like that was me giving up to the stigma and instead I would just coordinate when I play and have boundaries for myself, as a lot of people have and should, to enjoy what I do and then also be productive. So you probably don't know this, but I've actually worked in a video game company for a very, very big mobile game, one of the biggest ones out there. And I was in the data analysis team. So looking at how difficult certain levels are, if we can make improvements or have an algorithm that would change the difficulty of the game somehow. And through that, I realized that you can actually make money with video games, not just by being a Twitch streamer or pro gamer, but a developer, an artist, a product manager, software engineer, that's pretty much a developer, analyst, I don't know, tester, anything. So that's when I realized that there's more to video games and that it's actually kind of an art form for itself. And there's a big culture behind it. It has been a growing field. And that video games actually have intellectual value in the sense of that game introduced that mechanic. Super Mario 64 introduced 3D gaming pretty much or was way ahead of its time. And I kind of thought that by playing certain video games, I would educate myself on what is a good video game, what elements you could use if I was ever gonna build a game myself, or that I could use in my professional career. So because of that, I actually went back on eBay and bought a game I had 10 years ago, but that stopped working. And bought it again, just because I thought it was a very, very good 
game in terms of mechanics and design and I just wanted to play it again to get a feel for what is a very good video game and why that was such a good game. So coming from waste of time to hobby to profession, I want to talk about Twitch streamers, esports and making it in the gaming industry. First of all, I think being a Twitch streamer and pro gamer requires you to put a large amount of time into gaming, which is why there's a lot of young people doing it because people say old people don't think it's worth it to do it and they also have less reaction time and stuff like that. But that's not the point of what I'm trying to say. The point of what I'm trying to say is that it's gonna be a unbalanced lifestyle in the sense that you have to be at a very high level to do this. You have to stream pretty much every day or train every day. And that can kind of suck the fun out of gaming for you. And that will probably happen to me. If I had to play a one specific game every fucking day, I would get so sick of it. I play video games for fun and the soon and as soon as I have to show up every day and play that game and uh, compete and maybe be frustrated from losing. I don't think it's gonna be fun anymore and it's not really that recreational activity anymore, but a competition, pretty much. So I think you really have to decide whether it's gonna be worth it for you if you really are that passionate about it more than anyone else because there's a lot of people passionate about video games and that you can see yourself doing that every day without losing, losing the fun of it. And uh, in these circumstances, you might actually consider doing it. But what I actually wanted to talk about is working in the gaming industry because there's not just Twitch streamers and esports professionals, but a whole lot of people creating these games, writing about these games as a games journalist, for example, testing these games and so on. So in my opinion, people underestimate how big the gaming industry is how much it's been growing and how much it's gonna be growing and that it's way more of a thing than it was before. It's not the same situation that we've been in 20 years ago and it's only gonna change for the better. So if you're passionate about video games, I think by all means you should go for a career in that field. I think there's a great demand out there if you look at how much people play video games nowadays and compare that to 30 years ago, you can imagine how big of a field it might be and there's different opportunities out there. I know there's great working conditions in the gaming industry in terms of offices, perks. It's pretty much like the tech industry, which is known to be very good to its workers. Now, I know there's been some reports on some companies that have been treating developers badly and that have received a lot of hate on social media from fans but I think that's only going to change for the better and I think there's enough options for developers out there to actually pinpoint companies in which they are valued just by the amount of demand that there is out there. And uh, I don't think I can speak for anyone but that has been my opinion. Anyways, that's how I think about gaming for myself. I know that if I wanted to compete, I would have to take it very, very seriously and it would suck the fun out of it in my opinion. So I just see it as a recreational cultural thing that provides value for myself and is a form of art. I wanna hear how you think about it and how you've maybe struggled with it, society and how people are judging it. Let me know in the comments below. Also leave a like on this video if you enjoyed this talk and wanna see more of these videos, subscribe to the channel. See you all next time, bye.